Hi everyone, my name is Eric Figueroa. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the common keto mistakes. So people have this idea that when you're doing keto, the keto diet, all I, all I gotta do is reduce the number of carbohydrates, and therefore I can, I can expect the great results, such as losing weight. But the thing with keto is that it is more than just reducing the amount of carbohydrates. So the common keto mistake is that um, people are doing keto without intermittent fasting. So the thing with intermittent fasting is that it is just as important doing intermittent fasting for the purposes of weight loss than the keto itself. Because the thing with intermittent fasting is that the goal of it is to reduce insulin. And when you're eating, and every time when you eat, um, you spike insulin. So intermittent fasting is key um, for the purposes of weight loss. So when people are doing keto and they say, well, I lost so much weight on keto, but keep in mind is that they're also doing it with imminent fasting. So that deserves a lot of credit as well. So another common mistake is that you're eating while you're not hungry. So the thing is that people have this idea that you need to eat so that way you don't starve to death. But in reality, um, your body is perfectly fine not eating as long as you're not hungry. So, so that would be my advice to you. Um, another type of keto mistake is that you're eating too much protein. So the problem of consuming too much protein is that excess of protein converts into glucose, so therefore it spikes insulin. So ideally, you want to consume around three to six ounces of protein per meal. Um, an exception to that is if you're young or with a high metabolism, you're a bigger person, or you're a person that works out, then yeah, you may need a little more protein, maybe like eight to 10 ounces, for example. So the ketogenic diet is a moderate protein, not a high protein diet. So another common keto mistake is that you're not eating enough vegetables. So I recommend that you consume seven to 10 cups of vegetables per day, and you need a higher amounts of vegetables to flush out the fat. Because the ketogenic diet is a high fat diet, um, that requires consuming lots of vegetables as well. So another type of keto mistake is that you're focusing too much on the weight. So my advice to people is that you want to get healthy first before losing the weight because the weight is a symptom of something else. So to measure whether the ketogenic diet is successful, um, you also want to measure your waistline and also, and also perhaps you're gaining muscle because muscle weighs more than fat. Um, another key indicator of the ketogenic diet is your cravings go away, your hunger goes away, you have improved cognitive functions. So you also want to measure those as well, other than just paying attention on the weight. Because the, the problem with that is that if you focus on the weight, that you may feel discouraged to the point that you're just going to quit and be demoralized. But no, just give it a little more time and you will receive these results. Um, another common mistake is that people are eating too much or too little fat. Um, the problem of consuming too much fat is that it can overload the gallbladder and that can lead to severe symptoms. And also consuming too little fat. And the problem with consuming too little fat is that it's going to make you even more hungry in the next couple hours. So, that, so my advice is that you consume a little more fats to prolong your fasting. So that's, that's important as well because the ketogenic diet is a high fat diet. Um, another mistake is that people are, are eating too many carbohydrates. Um, so I recommend that you consume 20 to 50 grams per day. But if you want to speed up the process, like losing more weight, then I even consume, I recommend that you consume even less than 20 grams of carbs per day. So the thing with carbohydrates is that the quality of carbohydrates matters at this point because, for example, if you were to consume a potato and even even if potato reaches in that equation, the problem with potato is that it's going to spike up blood sugars. It's very high glycemic. So if you are consuming um, carbohydrates, especially low carbohydrates, you want to consume low carbs that are low glycemic. So this gives you a recap on the common keto mistakes. If you are new to my channel, please like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate all the love and support. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.